hey what's up guys welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use chat.js in your django project so chat.js is a javascript library which allows you to visualize data in chat format so as you can see we have this data here uh, written in a pie chart so um we have jim which is as 58 um tom 12 and then tim 20. So it's just data with values and then it visualizes it in a chart format. So I'm going to show you how to integrate this into your Django project. Now, instead of just having some dummy data or some static data, it's going to be from your Django model. So I have this modem named profile. And then if I open up this, you see that I have a name, Jim, and then age of 58. So in this video, we are not going to look into this email and bio. We're only going to be looking at the name and the age. So that's what we're going to be using to display data in this format. So I'm going to show you how to use your Django model like this. So you can see here that I have one, two, three, three different objects. If I come to profile and add a new one. Now, let's say I add J and email J at G dot co. And I just say I am J. And now let me give it um, 47 and then let me save it and then come back here and hit refresh now you can see i have four different objects right now so you can see i have jim and then j is added i have tim and i have tom so this is what we're going to be doing in this video it's going to be dynamic the chart that's going to be showing here is going to be dynamic from our django model and i can i'm also going to show you how to show this in bar chart line graph and other types like this now this is just a pie chart i'm going to show you how to easily convert it to another type of chart having that said let's dive straight into this video so guys i already have this set up here what i just did was i created a new django project and then i basically set everything up so before you get started with this video you must have a basic knowledge of django like creating projects configuring templates and stuff like that and if you don't already i recommend learning django first and coming back to this video so what we want to do now is to just basically have our models and then showcase that models or visualize those models data in a chart format so right here i created a project and then I created a new URL named index and then I connected that index to this view function here and what this function is doing is just rendering this index.html page and then I came into my settings.py file and I configured my template so Django will know where all my HTML files are being located and right here in the index I just have an h1 tag saying welcome so after doing all those I have already uh, have a database uh, Django model named profile as you can see there are four attributes here name email bio and age but for this video we're only going to be dealing with name and age so name is a character field and then age is a integer field positive integer field to be precise and I already registered all this in the admin panel if I open up my admin.py you see that they are registered already and then I created a super user so all those basic stuffs. Now let's dive straight into what I want to do today. So right now, as you can see, we have this model created. Let me come into my browser. Right here, you can see that it is empty. I actually created some um, data, some objects already, but I deleted them just to get started with this video. So now what I'm just going to do is to implement chat.js right here is the official documentation of chat.js is a JavaScript library. So I'm going to implement it into my Django project. So it's like mixing Python and JavaScript together. So what we just want to do is to come back to Visual Studio Code right here in our views.py. We're just going to import our profile model right here. So I already did that from the models import profile. So I have that imported and now I'm just going to have two empty lists. I'm going to name them labels and then it's going to be a list, but it's going to be empty for now. And then I'm going to have data. 
so it's also gonna be a list so these labels is gonna be a list of all the names and then data is gonna be a list of all the ages so we're gonna like the most the oldest um, is gonna be the one that's gonna be the highest on the graph so you're gonna see it when we're done with this so we have this empty list for now and then let's have a new variable named query set so this is like uh, all the data and then we're going to append it to this empty list so we can say query set should be equals to profile dot objects dot order by so we want to order it by the age so say i think age and then let's take only five so what this line of code is doing is getting um, let me put that so it's getting the profile the list of profile from all the ages and it's getting only five so that's what this is doing and now we're going to use a for loop so we can say for person so for a person in this query set what we just want to do is append so we we'll say labels dot append person dot name so we're appending all the names in this list to this labels list and then we also want to do data dot append person dot h so also appending it to the h and then now we just want to return this to our index.html file so we'll say return render requests index.html and then we will say labels should be labels um, without the parenthesis and then data should also be the data so that should data so now we have all this data right here now in our template file so i'm going to come into index.html i'm going to clear all of these and i'm going to paste this whole code right here so if you're wondering where i got this code from is the default code from the official documentation if we come into chat.js so i got it from the official documentation you can also get it right here if you come to this link so what we just want to do if i save this now and then come here and run this you are gonna see that i get this good looking pie chart so this is just a static data as you can see i just have labels of one two three four five and i have data of 20 34 42 34 and 89 so 1 goes to 22 goes to 34 so this is the label and this is the data so they are assigned respectively so right here you can see the 5 which is 89 is the is 589 but i don't want all this to be static what i want of this i want it to be gotten from our database so immediately we make a changes to the database it should automatically refresh uh, update on this pie chart so we can do that what we just need to do right here instead of having this static list since we already passed data to the index we're just going to do data we're going to have this don't know what it's called and we're just going to say safe not false so this is what we need to do to have that dynamically so we have this data dynamically and dynamically now we can also do the same thing for the labels we have to do the same thing i'm gonna remove this and then we're gonna say label then save also so this data is coming from the views right here in this page the data and the labels is also coming from there so the same thing is going on now all we just need to do is to save this html page once I save it, I'll come back to Chrome and hit refresh. Now, nothing should show. 
that's because we don't have any data in that model yet so let's just refresh this page yeah as you can see it's blank so if i come here and then i add let me add like two or three so let me just add a new profile and then what i want to do so name i can just say um tom and then tom at g.co and then bio i am tom and then i can give it age of 12. now i'm gonna save and add another one so i'm just gonna allow that to save and i can add team and i can say team at g.co let's see i am tim and then the age can be 20. so now if i save this i already have two objects right there if i come here and hit refresh you can see the pie chart dynamically shows a visualization of the data of two objects so tim is 20 tom is 12. now if i add another one from here and i can just say jim and I can say Jim at G dot co. And I can say I oh, am yeah, Jim. And then let me give it an age of 58. Now let me save this. And then I come here and hit refresh. You can see that that is automatically added. Jim with 58, which has, is the most popular, obviously. And then you can see that this is dynamically shown. So you can integrate this into any project you are building it can be with a project that has a user authenticated and then you want to show the statistics of the website or anything you can just visualize it with this and as you can see this is a pie chart there are obviously in maths there are various types of charts or various type of way we can visualize data we can use the bar chart the scatter graph the line so it's very easy using this javascript to change that so right here where you see type we can change it to bar now once i save it and hit refresh you can see now it automatically prints that or visualizes that data in a bar chart and then we can also change it to line and then once i hit refresh you can see now it is in a line and you can also put it in a donut pie chart there are two types of pie chart the normal one and the donut type and then any one you're looking for you can just come to chat.js the official docs and then under chat types you see all the types they have and you can easily integrate it into your project so that's all for this video and that's how to integrate chat.js in your django project thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one